you're going to be using a fire steel and a pile of dung to see who can build an old fashioned poop fire the fastest. Oh my gosh. But first we're going to play some I Survived Bear Grylls trivia. I'll ask a series of questions and when you get the correct answer, you'll get a steal a handful of dung from another player's pile. Because the goal is to set off that smoke bomb with your fire, you want your poo pile as tall as possible. After all the questions have been read, the last one to make their fire set off that smoke bomb gets eliminated. Oh gosh. There's a mountain of poop in front of me. It's wet. It smells absolutely horrible and it's right in your face. Bear, you don't have like a pooper scooper or nothing? <laughs> Salvatore, you go first. Oh. Be careful, Sal. Be careful who you mess with. No, you're not. No, Sorry. you're not. Oh, he's grabbing a lot. No, you're not. Savage. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first one, it's the first one. It's tricky okay. because you take somebody's poop, they're gonna come take yours. I mean, come on! He's got a percussionist grip. <laughs> Mackenzie, go for it. Oh! oh. Anyone else kind of scared of Mackenzie? Salvatore? I'm taking the hat off for really. I like it the way he runs his hands through his hair. I do not. My sort of guy, yeah. I love it. Oh, like that? <gasps> oh, oh, my oh my goodness! goodness. Yeah, alright. It's wet. Oh. Okay, last question. This is your last chance to build up your pile. Which big-eared African animal has poop with the most water content? Is it a giraffe, a rhinoceros, or an elephant? You drank elephant poop. Like, you drank the juice. Pretty disgusting, but it could save your life. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's see your answers. The correct answer is, the highest water content is in elephant dung. Yes! Salvatore, you are the only one that got this wrong. He put the question mark next to giraffe. I knew it was wrong. <laughs> giraffe? <laughs> I suggest you grab a jacket and a scarf, because it's about to get snowy. <laughs> okay, guys, you made it through to the next challenge. <laughs> For this, you're going to need grit, heart, perseverance. Oh. Oh As you guys know, I spend a lot of my time both in the heat, but also in the cold. And I remember once being stranded in the Arctic Circle in winter, huge frothing frozen ice river in front of me. I can't say enough just how careful you've got to be with water this cold. The only way of getting across without getting everything soaked was to strip down, get all my gear into a waterproof pack and swim that river. You guys big skinny dippers? This is where we take it up a notch. Strip down to your skivvies. <laughs> down to your underwear. Remember that time I said this was going to suck? 